Derek Fallow. Thanks for joining me on a new episode of The Visible Blair. I'm flying solo here tonight, uh, but I'm, I'm excited to, to dive a little bit into the information design tool. Um, you know, if, you, if you've spent any time as a universe designer, you I've got to imagine you've been in my shoes. Somebody's came to you with this new database that's packed full of business value, but you know, the access reporting or Excel reporting that's wrapped around, it just isn't cutting anymore. Can you do something magical with business objects? And, and, and you know, those are the kinds of scenarios you get into that there's no requirements. There's no project baked. And, and you're thinking, you know what, maybe today I am the cowboy and I will give this swell user a powerful universe and some awesome reporting and web intelligence to get them drinking the Kool-Aid. So, when we look back uh, before the days of BI4, um, data profiling was really not uh, effectively done through the universe. Or, well, I guess I should th say through designer. Um, I, you know, for me, I'm used to popping open Toad or um, SQL Developer and manually profiling the data, you know, trying to determine if no data model, what are my join columns? What are... Uh, the distinct values, you know, what measures am I going to build? In the Universe Design tool, or Universe Designer as we know and love it today, you know, the best we had was, uh, you know, a, a simple right click and view the table values of a column. Or, or uh, that was, I should say that was a table. Um, I could also right click on an individual column and get the value stored in that. Then under Tools in the Query Panel, um, falling down a little bit while I could certainly build that query and run it to make sure it parses and never return values and in all my time as a universe guy never quite understood that but the great news is the information design tool gives us so much more when we look at the individual layers of the uh, the new universe in the information design tool I've got a simple universe here uh, or a project, I guess, at this point, technically. i got a couple that we'll walk through today that kind of decompile some of those layers of where we can now do data profiling and, and exploratory analysis of the data as we build that universe layer. So, as you see my screen here now, you know, this is uh, something that I built right on top of Auditor inside of BI4. A couple of cool things ultimately happen when I start to build that data foundation layer. The connection itself, just like with classic business objects, all I can really do is test the connection. No big deal. But as we start to build that data foundation, that look and feel like we're used to in the old um, you know, structure pane of designer, the information design tool builds that as well. Uh, the right click context is still in place. I can view row counts, but even more importantly then is my show table values. So I'm just going to pick um, an associated dimension here and I'm just going to show the table values. And this does a couple things. One, it, it goes and gets the data. That That's pretty awesome. Um, and I can control and toggle the number of rows that I want that query to bring back. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to allow me to then drill down on each column and get a distinct count of the values in that column and then profile them against the overall result set. Why is that important? Well, maybe in a scenario where you're trying to find, again, that, that join or what are those key values inside of that table, um, you get an overall makeup of the, the, the distribution of values in that table uh, as you analyze it. We can also do some quick filtering. Now this is this is pretty nifty. Um, it, it's doing a, a partial partial string search row by row, column by column, and highlighting in a color coded um, uh, selection, limited to the rows that actually had that result set. It tells me how many I had um, that contained the string en. I could also filter down then on any column immediately within my data set. So if I want to filter and scan across the values inside of the field of language, I can look at 
all of that like a like a group buy with a little where clause applies to it. I mean that that's that's pretty nifty. And then lastly, I can hit a drop down, seeing what all those distinct values are, and then crawling across them to see what those possible values are. Now, all that goodness isn't confined to just the data foundation layer. It also rolls up to the business layer as well. So while I've started to build out all my objects and, and all that nifty information is stored and captured, I can also right click on an object. Hello, it's thinking about it. Oh, sorry, a little think time there. And then I can show values to see, see the unique values of a column in a table. The same panel is consistent across the data foundation view and the business layer view inside of the information design tool. One of the other very cool capabilities now inside the business layer, which really looks a lot like the old query panel in the universe design tool, is the ability to create and save queries. What a tremendous capability to save and reuse test cases within a universe project itself. So I'm just going to pick some random objects really. I don't really know what I'm going for if this is going to run very quickly, but that's okay. I can set some uh, parameters. You know, I'm going to do a sample here. I can assign query filters, uh, all the stuff that I would expect to do in a query. And then click OK. Now, that didn't exactly run it. It's it's there, it's saved, and now it's in my workspace. I can modify it again, or I can go on and execute it. And then in that same interface that we saw a moment ago that showed me that, that um, profiled values inside my query, I now have uh, a query result set that I can look across and, and live demonstration fail here. Hopefully this comes back a little faster. And through the magic of video editing, here we are. Now, my result set is, is much like a microcube. The, the result set's there, and, and I can now filter on any of those v distinct values, objects that came back in my query result set. Um, there's eh, nothing really all that helpful here. Let's change the filter over to a different object real quick. And there we go, two distinct values here. So I think, I think you get the idea. Uh, all the filtering is of the exact same capabilities we had before inside of uh, the data foundation view. Um, so, uh, you know, you could also then you know, save this output or save this query for reuse then at a later time in your, your debugging. So uh, I hope you found this video tutorial helpful um, when you're asked to cowboy up and build an awesome new universe uh, for a user. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the uh, Visible Layer. Thanks. Good night. This podcast is hosted and sponsored by EV Technologies. Visit us on the net at savethecms.com.